YouTube viewers, welcome to new truck videos. In this uh, video tutorial, we are going to look at the solutions to this uh, Olympiad mathematics. We are asked to solve for x in the fifth root of 7 raised to power 12 plus 7x over 7 raised to power x plus 7 raised to power 2 equal to 7. Before we start, if you are new to this channel, I want you to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel so as to get an update of our, our Olympiad Mathematics videos once they are published. Now to solve this to this question, all we need to do uh, is to find or take the fifth root of both sides of this equation and then use the laws of logarithm in solving this question. Now we're going to go straight to uh, the question and then we'll see how we'll go about solving uh, uh, the question. First of all, we are going to apply, uh, take the fifth root of both sides. So if we take the fifth root of both sides, this whole root will give us 7 raised to the power 12 plus 7 raised to the power x all over 7 raised to the power x plus 7 raised to the power 2 all to the fifth root and that will be equal to 7 the fifth root of 7 so doing this this fifth root will go take away this whole fifth root and then we'll be left with um we'll be left with uh 7 raised to the power 12 plus 7 raised to the power x all over 7 raised to the power x plus 7 raised to the power 2 and that will be equal to 7 raised to the power 5. Now having gotten to this point all we need to do is to cross multiply. Now if we cross multiply if we cross multiply we are going to have uh, this uh, value 7 raised to the power 12 plus 7 raised to the power x and that will be equal to 7 raised to the power 5 multiplying 7 raised to the power x plus 7 raised to the power 2. Now if we simplify further we are going to we are going to simplify further this will give us 7 raised to the power 12 plus 7 raised to the power x that will be equal to 7 raised to the power 5 times 7 raised to the power x plus 7 raised to the power 5 multiplied by 7 raised to the power 2. Remember this value will multiply everything in the uh, in the bracket. So having done this, we have come to see now that uh, we have a lot of 7 raised to the power x. So what we'll simply do is, what we'll simply do is we'll let, we'll let 7x to be equal to a value. Let's say the value is t. Now if we make 7x to be equal to the value of t, that simply means wherever we see wherever we see uh, wherever we see uh, 7x we replace it with t so substituting this value of t into the equation we we'll have a 7 raised to the power 12 plus t and that will be equal to 7 raised to the power 5 times t plus 7 raised to the power 5 times 7 raised to the power 2 now there is something significant about this equation. We are going to use the log of log the log of indices, the laws of indices to solve that equation. Remember the log of in this laws of indices indices. If you have uh, values of the same base multiplying uh, one another, all you do is you bring a common base and then you add the the powers or exponents. So we're going to apply that here. We'll have a 7 raised to the power 12 plus t that will be equal to 7 raised to the power 5 multiplied by t plus 7 raised to the power 
5 plus 2 and that will give us 7 raised uh, to power 7. So we we'll have uh, this to be equal to 7 raised to power 12 plus t equal to 7 raised to power 5 multiplied by t plus 7 raised to power 7. So we'll collect like terms. This is uh, this is made up of numbers. Uh, this is made up of numbers, and these have the values of t and t. So we we'll bring uh, values that have the value of t and t uh, to become one, and then the other one, the values that have the powers of uh, uh, the numbers that are exponents to the other side. So this will give us t why this crosses this equal to sign to give us minus 7 raised to the power 5 times t this will be equal to uh, 7 raised to the power 7 while this crosses equal to sign to give us what minus 7 raised to the power 12 so there is a common term here and that common term is t we bring out the common term 1 minus 7 raised to the power 5 and this will be equal to something is common here 7 raised to the power 7 is common let's say we'll have we'll bring out 7 raised to the power 7 times 1 minus what will remain here will be 7 raised to the power 5 right because 7 times 7 times 7 raised to the power 7 times 7 raised to the power 5 will be equal to 7 raised to the power 12. Fine. So we've gotten a common term in the left hand side and in the right hand side. So having gotten this common term in the left hand side and the right hand side, this term will cut this term and then we'll be left with our t to be equal to 7 raised to the power what? 7. Remember, if you recall, we said our t, our 7 raised to power x, our 7 raised to power x, uh, this value here, uh, is equal to t. So we are going to apply that there. Remember, we've gotten our t to be equal to 7 raised to power 7. So if 7 raised to power x is equal to t, so we can have our what 7 raised to the power x to be equal to 7 raised to the power 7. So we have common base. Common base will cut clear common base and then we'll equate the exponent. Our x will be equal to 7, which we which is the final solution to this question. Thanks so much for watching and do be sure to hit the subscribe button for more of our unique Olympiad mathematics video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. See you in our next video.